You know, I travel all over Scotland uh, or anywhere I play golf and it's really for views like that. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love quality golf courses but I love ones with amazing backdrops. And we've just travelled, uh, well probably an hour and 40 from our hotel in Dumfries uh, to what is Port Patrick and Dunsky golf course and already I'm stood on the third tee and it suggests it's going to be pretty spectacular in terms of views and there's a bit of a breeze up here as well. By the way I describe it, two opening holes, a bit of a warm up and then the third that I did that intro on is uh, stroke one as I recall and believe me it's an unreal hole. I can't get the drone up right now to show you this um, but I can see why it's stroke one. I've got a putt for what is uh, a bogey but that was, uh, I had to chip on to get that. It driver and five wood and still had an iron into the green. Like I said, bit of a breeze but what a golf hole the third is. Double it is then. Most holes offer up some generous fairways, which mean you can get away with a few. This is a golf course that can be enjoyed on a good or a bad golf day. Right, so it's a bit of an unusual one. I haven't spoke a great deal through this first seven holes because to be honest with you, uh, I don't know how bad the audio is, but it's horrendously windy. I've mentioned it a few times already. Uh, it looks fantastic in terms of the sunshine, but in terms of the breeze, it's difficult to get your breath at times. So that's why you haven't heard a lot from me, but I had a feeling we're just gonna go, I've just been on the uh, ladies tee at the front and this view again is just unreal. So in the minute, uh, I've always, so we played seven holes and pretty much on, I don't know, five out of the seven. This is what you're looking at all the time. It's incredible, but it is a challenge playing in the wind right now, I can tell you. I will also say that based on the forecast, it was pouring down rain all day. So uh, well, I'll take this any day, but how good is that? So what's a decent drive and I hope there's a bit of trouble down that left hand side it looks as though the camber's that way so we might be in trouble but uh, I always say it and I said it all during the last series is I don't care where I play golf or how I play golf rather when I'm looking at places like that because it's just uh, it's breathtaking stuff isn't it literally breathtaking at the minute right there was a camber and quite a severe one although we did stay above ground um, we're playing to the green on the flag rather, not quite on the horizon, or there is one further on. I can see that yellow flag waving about in the wind. We're a little bit more protected down here. Um, we've got 105 in. Certainly the wind is howling off that right hand side, so we'll be playing uh, a good way right to the flag, or at least trying to. I'm playing a wedge and hopefully it drifts in a bit. That's starting to move if it gets a good kick now. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's not bad, you know. I don't know, 15, 20 foot. I've got a birdie putt and I haven't had many. was in Dumfries town centre. The Cairndale was perfect for golf trips and plenty of courses on the doorstep and a bit of fly fishing if you fancy it. We just teed off on 10 and uh, I don't know whether we'll get a chance later on today but down there you should be able to see if you just come a little bit further forward that is the harbour town of Port Patrick itself. It looks really, really pretty. 
and like I said, I hope to get down there and show you around a little bit later on. We did get down to the waterfront, which is another classic Scottish harbour town. First stop was the blue building on left of screen for post-match refreshments and taking some more of that view. Right, we have reached the 13th, which is arguably their signature hole at Port Patrick in terms of location. I don't know how much above sea level we are, but we're perched up high. And when I move back about 10 yards, my audio is going to wipe out because I've never been in such a picturesque location that it's ideal for drone, but I can't even stand up, let a mine get the drone up. We've got no chance. But we'll come and have a look. I'm protecting my microphone. Keep coming. The wind is clearly at my back. The backdrop is absolutely stunning. We're playing to the green uh, down in the distance, but if you pan all the way round, what a tee position. I don't think I've, well, I was going to say I've ever stood on somewhere that's more dramatic than that. Absolutely beautiful. And then, uh, if you just come back here, I don't think with the light we've got, you might make out in the distance, certainly there's a shadow there in the skyline. That is Belfast, directly opposite us. And I think further up the coastline, you can get ferry over to Larne uh, or into Belfast, maybe, I don't know. But uh, yeah, an incredible location. But it's one of the toughest days and the cameraman has, or cameraman has just nearly fell over. It's one of the toughest days I've ever been on the golf course. Uh, it says 30 mile an hour winds, and that is an absolute load of rubbish. This isn't 30 mile an hour. Oh, do you know what, just get a little bit of a breath for a second because it's, uh, I'm just protected a little bit. Have it a good drive up 14, a little bit of a flick with a wedge. What you should be looking at right now is what's going on behind me. Forget my golf shot for a bit. That's not bad, Hand. Yeah, it's not bad. But that backdrop, oh my word. That's awesome, isn't it? Golf is tough when the wind blows so hard, but Port Patrick has the perfect backdrop to forget about the score and just enjoy the walk. <laughs> 